Alright guys, uh, back here with uh, day one of gridding and laying the floating floors in Studio B here at Arch Audio. And we are using these little things here, it's called an isograph. We got these from Pro Audio Design out of, the, out of New England. And uh, those guys are fantastic to us, uh, Dave and all the staff there are just fantastic. That's a, we're also where we got our Neve. Uh, Genesis Black console, so I highly recommend those guys. But anyway, as you can see, there's uh, a gel type substance here, and that is designed to absorb uh, sound waves uh, and vibration. So this is what isolates the floor from the concrete. So as you can see here behind me, we gridded this floor out in 24 inch grid this way, 16 inch grid this way. And around the edges where our wall is going to be, they're on 12 inch centers. So we have 12 inch centers on the perimeter, 16 inch centers uh, going this way, and 24 this way. So once we get this uh, all laid out with the ISO rafts, we'll start putting insulation in it, our wiring under the floor, and then plywood. So we'll see you back then when we get to that point. project here at Arch Audio. Uh, yesterday we got the ISO rafts um, gridded and we glued them down with liquid glue. Uh, they are on 16 inch centers this way, 24 inch centers this way, and that really works well with uh, the insulation that we put between them. Now we're using safe and sound rock wool insulation and that will help dampen the sound frequencies beneath the floor. What you don't want is a, a cavern system underneath this floor just being hollow because uh, the sound frequencies uh, that would be rumbling underneath you uh, as you're standing on it or sitting on it uh, during tracking or mixing uh, wouldn't be good. So we do this to kill those frequencies beneath the floor so it helps uh, continue to isolate the original floor from the floating floor. So you will see us um, continue to put this in today and you'll see the finished product here in a little bit. <laughs> 